This is a pair of antique hammered copper bowls. Um, they're definitely old. That one's really pretty on the inside. This one looks kind of funky and dirty. Um, I had these up for over $100 because people use them as decorations. Um, I got an offer of $75 and I said yes. So they sold for $75. This is a lot of 34 mid-century matchbooks from restaurants, hotels, casinos. Not super popular. I had them up for $60, um, and we took a best offer of $20. So that's fine. I like to get them out of here. $20. Bucks. This is a wacky vintage globe pen holder. Wood base. Uh, definitely vintage and weird. Sold for $25. Bucks. This is a vintage handmade straw hat made in Italy. You can kind of see there, made in Italy. Very nice, and it sold for 50 bucks. This is a Japanese lacquerware tray, definitely vintage. There's a mark on the back saying it's from Okinawa, and it sold for $50. This is a pair of Ray Band Rituals uh, model of prescription eyeglasses for men or women. Uh, someone will have to get their own lenses put in, um, but they are nice uh, Ray-Ban glasses and they sold for $40. This is a very cool sale. Um, these are vintage, like hand tinted. I don't even know if they're photographs. I guess they're like photographs, but they're hand tinted rodeo. Like they're not postcards, they're just this like poster thing. Um, there's about 18 of them and they're kind of amazing. I think they're from the 40s or 50s. Uh, we just found them in a lot of um, postcards and I sold them for $50. Vintage 80s, 90s painter's hat with the cigarette logo. Cool. Totally cheesy. Looks like it's never been worn really and it sold for 19 bucks. We had a bunch of Audi hats um, that we bought in an estate sale of someone who worked for Audi or was just an Audi nerd. Um, this is Audi Sport North America, totally nerdy, and it sold for 40 bucks. These are so funny. They're like wrist exercisers. And uh, we always sell them. I don't know why. Maybe they're hard to find. I'm not sure. But these sold for $19. This is a vintage trailer hitch lock, um, so someone doesn't steal your your trailer hitch or whatever's hitched to your trailer. I'm not exactly sure how it works, um, but it did come with a key, which is awesome. So we did test it on our trailer hitch, and it did work. Um, this sold for fifty bucks. Nice sale. This is a vintage 1940s or 1950s Revere Wear pan. Um, you can buy these now. Uh, they're copper clad on the bottom. But the way you can tell they're vintage from the 40s and 50s is they have screws here. Hey, somebody wants to come in. Hey, you can't come in. You can't come in. Um, there are screws here. Uh, the handle's on a very particular way. It's got kind of a triangle. And then on the back, you can see the Revere Wear logo is round. And it says, like, patent pending. So that's from the 40s and 50s. That's true vintage. Um, this sold for $19. Not too much. But some of the bigger, you know, if it was, like, nice and shiny and perfect, it would have sold for more. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> this is a Philips home theater system uh, remote. It does not have a model number, so I couldn't sell it on Amazon. I was trying to sell it on Amazon, but it's just home theater remote. Um, so I copied some uh, numbers for which model it goes with on eBay um, from another seller who had the exact same looking one. And this sold for 25 bucks, so that's a nice sale found just, you know, on a thrift store shelf for a couple cents. This is a Cabela's uh, Super Soft Flannel Shirt. 
Cabela's. It's an outdoor like hunting brand. Definitely popular where we live. And it sold for 25 bucks. This is a vintage 100% silk uh, cummerbund and bow tie. It comes in the original box. It looks like it's actually never been worn. It's got a great pattern. And it sold for $36.99. This is a vintage leather travel wallet. Um, we can open it up and you can see it says cards to go there, passport, traveler's checks. Definitely vintage, but a great little wallet, and it sold for 40 bucks. These are two vintage hand planers uh, for planing wood. One is big, one is small. This one says handyman, and they sold as a set for 50 bucks. This is an Ikea um, shower caddy. Uh, we never used it. Uh, we bought it for the other house, but it didn't fit right in the um, shower properly. Um, it was like too short. So I bought it for $12 at Ikea, you know, like a year and a half ago or so. And I listed it for $25 and it sold. This is a beautiful vintage Carvel Hall brand. Uh, I believe this is a meat slicing knife. Um, it is not serrated. Um, and I've seen other ham slicing knives that look like this. So that's what I called it. Uh, the blade is n almost 10 inches long. It comes in its own case, and it sold for $36.99. Warner Brothers Records embroidered baseball hat. Pretty basic, but it sold for 30 bucks. This is a vintage Soviet Union uh, officer's hat. Um, it's wool. It's definitely for real. Uh, you can't really see it in there, but there's Russian uh, writing in there. Um, I got this at an auction with two of these hats and a jacket and something else for like five bucks, which is kind of amazing. I think people thought they were fake, but it's not fake. And it sold for sixty dollars. Um, this is called many things. It is a saddle brass or a medallion or an emblem <laughs> or an ornament. But it goes on a saddle. And this one's solid brass, made in England. It says Guernsey. And it sold for 40 bucks. Definitely cool. So the other Warner Brothers Records hat that we had sold to someone else the next day. So weird. I don't know why that happened. So here it is. Sold for 30 bucks to someone totally different. A pair of L.L. Bean uh, vintage overalls. They are over dyed pink. It's hard to tell. Uh, either someone washed it with something really red or they actually over dyed it. They look cool though. Um, they sold for 30 bucks. This is a lovely pair of Michael Kors brand um, pumps with chains. Very nice leather. Hardly worn. Um, but I did take a best offer of $75 for these, which is actually a great price. This is a Sony G Protection CD Walkman. Totally reminds me of like one of the first Walkman I ever had. Although that one was not as fancy looking as this at all. Um, this sold for 20 bucks. Okay, Jay has the flu right now and uh, I am just on the edge of getting it as well. So <clears throat> I'm trying to get this video up. But I wanted to show you guys the last few things that sold this week uh, before I <clears throat> retired for the day. It's only 9 a.m. <laughs> this is a uh, leather briefcase. It's pretty beat up. It's got uh, um, initials on it. Uh, it's definitely cool, though. It's very heavy. And it sold for $95. Best offer. This is a little coat rack that somebody made out of like um, barn wood and uh, square cut nails, like vintage square cut nails. Um, you can see on the back that you can hang it up. And this sold for a best offer of $70, which is a great sale. And finally, we have th uh, two uh, rounded trivets. They're teak. Definitely vintage, perfect for a table or near an oven or something like that. And these sold for $36.99. Okay, now I need to go hydrate myself and sit there and listen to the radio or watch TV and do nothing. <laughs>
Bye.